okay so now if we get back to the main.dart file and right here after this title we will say debug show check mode banner and we will set it to false and now what this will do is to remove this uh, debug banner so if we restart our application okay let me do it again and as you can see it is now gone so now get back to the login screen dot dart file and right here inside this on tab here we will type underscore u id focus node dot and focus and that's it and now uh, we'll get to the login form dot dart file and if we scroll down right here inside this on pressed we will type a if condition and in that if condition we will check the uh, unique id and if that unique id is equals to the user saved in the database then we will open up that account or if the user enters some other id then we will create a new account by that id and login the user to the home screen so first let's just create a new screen or file so we will uh, select this new then dart file and right here we will type home press enter and right here we will first import the material dot library and then we will create a stateful widget by the name of home screen now get back to the login underscore form dot dot file and right here we will type widget dot focus node dot unfocus and right here we will say if underscore login in form key dot current state is not validate then what we will do we will say database dot user id equals to underscore uid controller dot text and after this we will add a navigator so navigator dot of context dot push replacement and right here we will add a semicolon then in here we will type material page root and the context will be equals to the home screen which is this one so select that and now it will redirect us to the home screen and if we click on this we need to import this library which is database.dart and as you can see the error is gone okay so make sure to import this library at the top so now if we restart our application okay so it is refreshed as you can see now let's just enter two number and if you click on this login as you can see it shows that user id should be greater than five characters now let's just add three and as you can see it shows the same error so now let's just enter some unique id like one two three four five and if we click on login okay it still shows that so let's add six now if we click on this login as you can see we are redirected to the home screen but on the home screen we don't have anything so that's why it is showing this black screen so this is it for this video and in the next video we will create all of our function so see you guys in the next one